Uh, Mr. Malema, thank you so much for, for, for agreeing to, to join us this afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a big year for the EFF. You guys are 10 in 10. Mm -hmm. um, looking back, man, uh, during the time when you were expelled from the ANC, mm -hmm. um, did you think that the EFF uh, will, uh, will grow and, uh, and, and last with this long? Yes, uh, thank you for having me. I think uh, when we started we were aware that uh, we will uh, sustain uh, the movement through discipline and through respect for each other um, and unnecessary contestation. Um, but uh, it surpassed our expectation. Uh, because remember in 2014 when we were contesting first elections, we were polled at uh, between 1% to 3%. We got 6 and the next elections we increased to 10 hope to increase now so um, I mean when we had a discussion with Floyd um, it, it was like ah, one or two seats in Parliament so we can get ourselves back on the table to agitate for economic freedom mm. and uh, we, we got more than that mm. yeah how difficult was the decision to form your own party remember yeah. at the time when you were having problems in the ANC you kept on saying my blood is black, green, and gold. You never leave the ANC, and you got expelled. How difficult was that decision to take to say I'm forming? Well, uh, it was not a, um, an easy decision. I've been ANC all my life, and uh, um, it, it was like you are denouncing yourself um, and trying to become something else. I mean, my grandmother was saying to me, "How oh, does it mean we no longer vote for Mandela? Mm. Uh, is that what it means?" Um, uh, because that's what also what she has known all her life. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was emotionally a, a very difficult uh, decision to take. But what satisfied me was the plea that I've made on several attempts, leave me with the membership, take the positions. Uh, you can even suspend me from not occupying any position for the next five years, for the next ten years. But let me remain a member so that I can contribute at the lowest level because for me it has never been about positions, it's about being active uh, citizen who is able to make a contribution uh, to society in a positive way. They said no, um, and uh, and I'm happy you're putting it correctly. I I didn't leave the ANC, I was expelled from the ANC, mm. and I pleaded and I said my blood is black, green and gold. Even when a man was down on his knees, Mm. Uh, you still kicked him. I, mm. I had no option uh, yes. but to find an alternative. You cannot push a man uh, against the wall and expect him to do any other thing except to come for you. Yeah. Uh, and that's what they did and that's what uh, I, I had to do uh, in response to what they did to me. When the EFF started um, around 2014, I remember we were Chris crossed, crossing the country campaigning, mm. and you were saying the way that it's growing is scary for you uh, because yes. you don't think you'll be able to, to manage such growth. Mm. Um, how did you manage such growth, and, 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 and it is, does it still concern you the way the EFF is growing, the manner in which it's growing? Well, the, the good thing is we, to balance the quantity uh, and transfer it into quality uh, because. You don't want to grow the organization and then be seized with huge responsibilities. Uh, and at the same time, you don't have people who are capable enough to can handle such responsibilities. So uh, that's what was challenging. We are still growing uh, at a very uh, rapid speed. And uh, 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 I'm happy that we are beginning to attract uh, a very important and uh, uh, quality people uh, amongst our people and uh, in the society and and that's what gives me confidence and and you know allay my fears in terms of the growth uh, versus uh, quality because mm. the fear was that you will uh, attract these people yes. uh, into voting for you and then boom you don't have enough uh, quality to can handle the state. Do you have the estimated figures now, membership, where you are? No, it's uh, more than one million members of the EFF, and I always say to journalists, it's a, a verifiable number. Mm. It is in the, the membership system. Uh, the cards have been uh, printed and delivered to uh, the people, mm. and um, 
um, uh, uh, Sunday Times is it is well within its right to come and say, okay, we want to bring our IT specialist and check yeah. uh, if these if people are there and they're authentic uh, and anything of that sort. So, qualitative, uh, 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 quantitative number of one million plus, and in position of membership cards and still grow. And uh, we have no less than 4,000 launched branches of the mm. EFF in South Africa. Do you have an idea of where, is, where are your strongholds? Our strongholds is the, the inland. Mm. We're doing well in uh, 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 Free State, uh, which Free State uh, came uh, very late uh, because we're struggling a lot in, the, in Free State. Mm. The second uh, province that was not ex performing to expectation in the inland was uh, Mpumalang, uh, which uh, came to the party uh, not so satisfactory, but uh, mm -hmm. they are there uh, yeah. and, and they are showing a lot of commitment and uh, growth. And then will be followed by Northwest uh, and then followed by uh, Limpopo and then Houting uh, number one. Mm. Um, we get we got a shock of our life in 2021, uh, where we got crazy numbers from uh, KZN, uh, not expected. Mm. And uh, when the counting was happening in the 2021, we met our previous uh, 2016 number, and then the SG said to me, "We're going to pass it with this number," and then we went past the number, and we kept on putting higher numbers, and I said. Mm. You are unreasonable. It's not going to happen. And then we kept on passing it and passing yeah. it, and we're all like, "Where do these numbers come from?" Yeah. Uh, so, it, it, I can safely say that the EFF has found a very comfortable home in uh, Kozul Natal, mm. and uh, even now, um, it is continuing to grow uh, in a very unexpected way uh, in that province. Then Eastern Cape, and then Western Cape last. Do you know what causes that, this sudden growth of the FF? Uh, well, uh, there is a huge uh, political dissatisfaction mm -hmm. in KZN mm -hmm. about the ANC. Yes. And uh, the caliber of um, cadership and leadership that the ANC has produced, um, it makes Ecclesial look like it's one of the best. Uh, because if you, you could look at what you have now and mm -hmm. look at Ecclesial, you're like, mm, I don't think... Uh, uh, this is what would actually uh, take the men away. But it's good for me, and uh, I have no reason to complain. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so we need to maximize on that. But mm -hmm. we also need to infiltrate the the north and not allow the growth of the IFP because it has mm -hmm. now uh, taken a decision to marry the uh, DA. Mm -hmm. Now the problem is that the, the uh, 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 IFP voters, when they are angry with the IFP, they don't vote for anyone. Mm. Uh, so they, they 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 formed a party at the time called the NFP, and then when the NFP failed, they went back mm. uh, to the IFP. Mm. Uh, so that poses a new challenge now, yeah. uh, where we have to infiltrate uh, the IFP base and neutralize it, so that whatever the number the IFP gets. Mm. It's not able to merge with the DA and does the two of them constitute a government in KZN. Yes. It will be a serious miscarriage of history, uh, which will not be allowed. But uh, the EFF uh, leadership uh, yeah. uh, is committed. Yeah. Um, huge temptation by the IFP to infiltrate the EFF, especially in the north, and uh, neutralize it, at times even corrupt it. Mm. Uh, give it jobs offers, give it money offers and all of that. It's a contested terrain. We, yes. we have no reason to complain, but mm. uh, I'm happy, and uh, I'm going there uh, Friday. Yes. I'll be in KZN, so I'll get out on, on Sunday. So it's one province that when you go, you get very excited because you can see mm. uh, the, the kind of effort we've put in. Uh, look, these uh, by-elections do not mean uh, anything uh, to us as the EFF. In the EFF, we contest all the by-elections yeah. because they are a training ground. So a lot of our members and leaders, to a particular extent, they are new in politics. Mm. So you give them that opportunity to be trained practically, not theoretically, mm. practically on 
how do you contest the word? How do you contest elections? What is needed in the elections? Mm. And then they go in with their heart and mind and soul, and then mm. they get beaten and defeated. Then they have to come back and say, what is it that we have done wrong? Mm. And then they are given an opportunity to correct that even before the national elections. So yeah. we are happy with our uh, presence uh, in KZN. I, I like that you are talking about the, the working relations with, with the political parties. We're going to come to the issue yeah. of coalitions now. But when you came in in 2014, in the first elections that you yeah. contested, you, AFF um, uh, positioned itself and claimed that it was a, a government in waiting. Yes. How, how, how is that going, and how far are you from achieving um, uh, that? We're a government. We're no longer a government in waiting. We're a government in, in uh, KwaZulu Natal and Etek, responsible for infrastructure. Mm. I was looking at uh, FNB today and mm. uh, uh, looking at Moses Mabida, and I was like, Moses Mabida is managed by the city, and it is not uh, anywhere close to what FNB uh, looks like. And mm. it looks like Moses Mabida falls under the EFF. So mm. we may want to uh, tap on some uh, beautiful experiences in FNB mm. and improve Moses Mabida. It has got a huge potential both in as a sports facility but as a, a tourist attraction as well. Mm. Um, uh, we are government in Ikuruleni, um, um, responsible for half of that municipal, mm. municipality. Um, uh, finance, electricity, water, uh, and, and, and things like that. So we ought to uh, do things differently mm. and make sure that our people get services. Mohali City, uh, West Rand, I mean, including Johannesburg, by mm. the way, we are responsible for uh, public safety and health. And yeah. uh, that's why uh, when you leave this building, there's no way you can find metropolis in uh, any corner. Uh, it's mm. because of the type of uh, activism that we've brought mm. into governance as the EFF. All of this has, is being used as a preparation and training ground for a total takeover in 2024. So we, they, we, we, we in a way, we're no longer government in waiting. We are government. But how, how has I, like EFF um, uh, public representatives performed since they took over positions of government? It would be uh, too quick for me to uh, pass judgment. Mm -hmm. Every Monday, especially the MMCs, mm -hmm. are required to file a written report mm -hmm. of what have they done uh, this week and um, how have they impacted positively mm -hmm. uh, in the lives of our people uh, and where uh, we are uh, not happy we're able to uh, make agent and uh, weekly interventions. Uh, with regard to that. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. um, uh, a superstar for me is the speaker uh, of Ikurlen, who understand that being a speaker is not just chairing a council meeting, mm -hmm. but you have a responsibility to serve the people. And she's forever very responsive on social media, very responsive on the ground, mm -hmm. a female Kada who loves and she's so committed to driving a, 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 a change agenda. And I'm, I'm like, you know, if all of them could just be inspired by her and want to be like her, we'll have this government uh, being a, a better government. So uh, I'm, I'm happy uh, um, uh, with what our leaders are doing. 2016, after the local government elections, the EFF <clears throat> made certain demands uh, to political parties who wanted to act in, yeah. into coalition with, with the EFF. And uh, as a result, the ANC was left out in the cold. In, um, in in different metros, but now we see the EFF is now in government and in in in, in, in says form alliances with the ANC. Uh, what has changed? What has changed in the EFF strategy? We are not uh, in any coalition. Number one, uh, even in 2016, we have not been in coalition because there has been uh, no agreement to the fundamental, non-negotiable cardinal pillars of the EFF. Uh, what has changed now is that we voted for different mayors. Mm. And those mayors are the ones who invited the EFF into government. Mm. We are not in government invited by the uh, ANC. We don't serve at the behest and the invitation of the ANC. Mm. We are uh, serving because uh, mayors of uh, other uh, political parties have uh, 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 invited us. So we're happy. Um, um, 
if the ANC messes up, we take them head on. Mm -hmm. um, we even speak publicly against them, yet we serve in the same executive because yeah. we are not in alliance, we are not in coalition, we are all invited uh, knowing that we hold a different political uh, opinions. And that's the good thing and the beautiful thing about what we have now. We, nothing binds us to anyone. Yeah. Uh, we remain independent and we remain robust and continue to expose corruption. That's why we entered the Gurulian, exposed corruption on the billboards that the city is generating almost 100, 100 million plus instead of generating 600 million. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of illegal billboards that are going on and the money is not even coming to the city, goes into the pockets of individuals. Um, the uh, trucks, waste trucks are missing. So much number yeah. is on the register, uh, but so much has been found. The rest, we don't know where it is. The ANC jumped and said, uh, people who are in cabinet with us, they can't talk like that. We said, no ways, we don't care. Mm. The, being in cabinet with you does not mean a cover up uh, for corruption. Yeah. Yes. When you started this discussion, you said when they, the ANC chased you away, and now you are coming for them. Um, and, 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 and the EFF is, um, is largely responsible for the decline of the ANC yeah. in, the, in, the, in the past elections. And now we're going to 2024, and the opposition parties <clears throat> are coming together with a view of, um, of getting rid of the ANC. Will the ANC, will the EFF be assisting the opposition parties to get rid of the ANC, or will the EFF assist the ANC to retain power in 2024? No, but uh, uh, your, your, your analysis is wrong. They are coming together to get rid of the EFF and the ANC. Mm -hmm. And they've not made it a, a secret. They said, let's come together. And, and they've isolated uh, the EFF and they said they don't want the EFF. Mm -hmm. um, the first choice to work with is the opposition. Mm -hmm. uh, we've always done that. And we've always done that, not in exchange for positions, but in exchange for good governance and for accountable government and for the delivery uh, of services to our people. So when people just wake up one morning and declare you number one enemy, uh, when without giving you a benefit of doubt and say, okay, come, let's engage on this or that issue, we don't seem to be seeing things uh, uh, the same way. Remember, these are the people we give uh, a power to. We gave the municipalities to. They have no reason to doubt us. We never asked in exchange for a tender, for a position, for anything. Mm. Mashaba makes that point uh, very clear every time he's given an opportunity. That I've never, when I was a mayor, uh, had a, a discussion or an encounter with the EFF where they asked for anything from me or even tenders. Yes. It is the DA that came asking for tenders mm. from me. So I, these are the kind of people you have been dealing with in the municipality. Mm. And then you wake up one morning, you say they are the enemies. Mm. So. Uh, ANC is not our preferred cup of uh, tea, mm. but uh, 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 the circumstances that puts us with the ANC together yes. and say this two must be uh, 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 killed, we cannot then uh, you know push ourselves to people who don't want us. We prefer the opposition. Mm. We want to work with the opposition. We have given our votes to the opposition before, mm. and uh, I don't understand why. Where, where does this come from? Where now people just say, no, we don't want them. Is uh, the door still open? Disagree. Our door is open. Mm. We will work with the DA, we'll work with all the opposition parties. Mm. If they come to the party and say, let's build a solid government that is based in the interest of fighting corruption and defeating the high levels of unemployment and mm. poverty in our society through the distribution and ownership of the land and strategic sectors of the economy. That discussion is not taking place. And and not because the EFF doesn't want. The it, EFF it, it, has it, it always... Their project, their project is to say no, I can't. You can't wake up one morning and say, that's an enemy, uh, and then whatever we do. Not even the ANC is the enemy. Mm. No, the DA is actually discussing a possibility of forming a coalition with the ANC. Mm. Uh, anything but the EFF. Yes. So I've not done anything to anyone. Um, I've got ideological views and positions that I hold, uh, uh, but I'm not uh, aloof to the dynamics in the country. 
and I've got an open door policy to engage, mm -hmm. uh, and I've done so before. But when I'm being called an enemy, mm -hmm. and uh, even people who declare me enemy, I keep the, giving them votes, and then the day I decide yeah, I've had enough, I'm the problem. Those people are not a problem. No one says to them, but he has been so kind to you. Why mm. do you treat him the way you are treating him? Why do you think he's treating you that way? It's the Oppenheimers. Mm. They don't like the EFF because the Oppenheimers give money to all political parties in South Africa, except the EFF. And therefore, they are unable to control the EFF. As a result, they say, DA, whatever you do, this one must never be an option. Two, the DA internal research has confirmed that the EFF is going to uh, pass you. The numbers are growing mm. and the, your numbers are declining. Uh, before Ipsos released the results, the latest results, the much earlier year, uh, in the year, uh, they released uh, DA at 16% and then EFF at 13%. The latest says EFF hasn't moved, it's still at 13%, the DA is 14%. So the DA results are actually worse than that. And they know that whatever happens, these ones can pass us. Mm -hmm. And, and Oppenheimer makes that point very clear to them. So what do they do? They stop fighting the ANC because you must now fight for position number one. They're like, ah, well, we're concentrating there. Here's a person. They make a U-turn to look at the EFF. Mm. and say the EFF is the enemy, not the ruling party. How do you, where have you ever had such a thing? So the numbers don't look good, and as a result, the EFF must be stopped at all costs. So, so the, the, the whole idea is, and ANC is led by fools like Mbalula, which don't have an appreciation of what is happening. The whole idea is, EFF numbers combined with the ANC they should not pass 50%. Mm. Yeah, so that's what uh, they're working on. Uh, so that o Oppenheimer can force the marriage mm. of the ANC and the DA the same way they did uh, with Mampela Rampe. Mm. Uh, after they formed her party, forced her marriage uh, into the DA and then destroyed her. The same mm. thing they're doing with uh, uh, Herman. Mm. I mean, Herman loves the EFF with everything. Mm. And every time he tweets against the EFF, I laugh alone because I know it's not him. It's not uh, what he wants. Yes. Uh, the guy, if if he had any option, he would have joined the EFF. Mm. But his funders are like, mm -mm, not those ones. Yeah. Because they've got no control over the EFF. So it seems as if the, the situation that you are painting is a situation where you... The, the AFF and the ANC are being um, uh, put in a corner, to, or maybe you can say maybe we are like being forced to work together by the by the DA in terms of what they are saying. Because they are they are, they are, they are, they are, they are putting you in such a way that you are like come as a package. We are not working with the ANC and the AFF. No, they've put us like that. They've so in that situation, will the AFF ever consider maybe after the next government elections to to then work with the ANC? We'll not have government? a problem working with the ANC. Mm. Um, uh, as long as the ANC concede uh, to the demands uh, of uh, uh, the EFF, we, we will want, more than anyone, we will want to work with the ANC. Mm. We will want the ANC to be what it used to be. Mm. Uh, uh, it, it, it's the most, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, first choice you will want to have. But uh, you ought to put very tight mechanisms in place, very tight, clear program of deliverables mm. of this must be achieved by this time. Mm. And uh, not the ANC of Cyril Ramaphosa, because that's equal working to Oppenheimer. The reason why there is an attempt to do a forced marriage between the DA and the ANC is because Cyril is Oppenheimer and the DA uh, is Oppenheimer. The, the, the merging of the National Party and the DP was done by the Oppenheimers, and then now Cyril being the product of the Oppenheimers, that's why Steinhezen or Helen Zillow say, ah, well, we'll not have a problem working with the ANC of Cyril Ramaphosa. I will have a problem working with the ANC of Sir Ramaphosa uh, because that's working with the devil straight uh, uh, and, and that is undesirable. That's a product of uh, 
uh, the open IMAs. That's a tool that is being used by the open IMAs to, deal, to, to reverse the gains, the little gains we have made of 1994. So if the AFF and the ANC were to sit on, on, on the table and, and then have a discussion about working together post-2024 um, elections, will that be one of the demands that Sir Ramaphosa should not be president? Yeah, absolutely. Why? Why, why? why would you want to work with Sir Ramaphosa? He, the guy can't take a decision mm -hmm. about anything. And uh, you, you want to kill the EFF mm -hmm. by subjecting it to undecisive leadership. Because you have to go back to your constituents and say to your constituents, look guys, um, by look of things and numbers, we may have to find a way of working with these guys to achieve what we want to achieve. And they say, okay, go ahead. And then you go ahead with Sir Ramaphosa and you come back empty-handed. That is a self-destruction and the killing of the EFF. So which leader of the NC, the EFF, will, will, will feel comfortable working? Well, uh, it will depend. I can't choose for them who they want to put forward, but Ramaphosa is not a choice. Be because of the, the relations or with the open Yeah, that he bought that position, funded purely by white capital to capture the ANC and use it against black excellence and, and, and then use it against... Uh, the, the, the gains of 1994. Uh, mm -hmm. So it can be. A serial must still be punished for having sold our country uh, uh, to the highest bidder. It's, it's, at the level uh, they are stealing now, at the level they are collapsing the state owned enterprises now, you will think that uh, this country will not be here tomorrow. But if Steinhausen was to open the negotiations and open the door, would you support a, a situation where you have uh, Steinhausen as a presidential candidate? I said to you, I can. my preferred thing, which I did in 2016, mm. is bring together the opposition yes. and remove this corrupt ANC yes. of Sarah Ramaphosa. I will do that. But if the ANC was to come with the mm. same offer mm. without Sarah Ramaphosa, I will go for the ANC. Mm. Yes. Because under Ramaphosa, we can achieve that. But as combined opposition, mm. we know that we actually hold the best interest of our people at heart. Will you work with Stenazen? I, I, I gave them my votes in 2016. So I did. You actually support a situation where Stenazen becomes president? He won't be president. So what will happen? No, there will have to be a president consensus from the combined opposition. Mm. But uh, Stein is uh, no, 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 it can't be. To, uh, uh, Why not? To subject, Why not? Uh, to subject our people to uh, that uh, metric leadership, yes. uh, it's not going to happen. Uh, no, we, that thing ended with Zuma. After that, uh, any other thing will be to insult the people of South Africa. Uh, uh, so we shouldn't allow that. Stein is is good as a leader of uh, the TA, but he can't lead this country. Mm. He, he, he too hates uh, our people. Now he's fighting BEE. Now he's fighting empowerment policies because anything black to him, like Cyril, must be uh, suppressed. And uh, uh, if you put Stenez and a president is the same as putting Cyril. Mm. So why? He, there's no, there's no need to read. So it's not automatic that um, when there are people meeting together um, uh, in the form of opposition, then the white person who is in opposition must become a president uh, based on that. I mean, there I can lead them. I can be president of this country. I can. Be, I'm ready to be the president of this country. Because so why should I give it to Let me stay. So, so, so if you if you so not so always yeah, a, and you put an in here, you put me here. I think I'm a So the FF would rather. So if we had to choose, we've done it in 2016. Uh, in in some of the municipalities, we just folded our arms. Mm. We still do the same in us. So not always a, where uh, the ANC and the DA candidate doesn't make sense. So the FF would rather. Don't get involved. We've done it in. You recently welcomed someone. Some of the municipalities, we just folded our arms. Mm. We still I don't do the same in other before municipalities you, where you held the, the ANC and the DA candidate doesn't make sense to the ranks of the, the EFF. You uh, recently what, what were working for someone and he was immediately mm. deployed to parliament. Um, I, I, 
a few weeks after he joined the FF. Is this part of some kind of a strategy of the FF, FF maybe to, to, to expand its, uh, its reach, maybe into the black uh, class? What uniform that information was immediately deployed to Alan used to it? No, uh, and what makes me happy is, is that you're not a new journalist. We got along so well with Muzwana Ramani when he was the president of BMF. If you remember the debate on nationalization of mines and the banks when we were in the youth league, mm. BMF used to support us extremely mm. well. Thanks. And as a result, me and Muzwana, Muzwana, we were very close. He mm. used to invite me a lot. Yes. at uh, a BMF events. And uh, we then had differences when mm. we left the uh, uh, the ANC to form the EFF. Yes. And uh, he remained with the ANC. And at the time when we were fighting President Zuma and the Guptas, he was on that side. But it, uh, uh, it doesn't mean there's never been a point where myself mm. or Floyd never shared the same uh, ideological perspectives with Mzwane. We mm. did, yeah. um, and uh, there was that uh, irritation. And I said mm. this um, um, a long time ago uh, that President Zuma's issue is an irritation. It's not mm. a strategic issue yes. that should constitute a strategic enemy. It can't be. So President Zuma was an irritation issue that we dealt with. It's done. Yes. Uh, and therefore, we're concentrating on our strategic opponents which is white monopoly capital. And that opponent, even when we had an irritating disagreement uh, with uh, Mani mm. uh, uh, on Zuma and the Guptas, but on the strategic enemy, there's never been uh, uh, differences between ourselves and, and Mani. Mani, like many others, belong to a faction in the ANC called a radical economic transformation. Mm. They are the ones who have been adv advocating in the ANC the nationalization of the land, uh, of the reserve bank, of mm. the mines, of, of, of establishment of the bank, a state-owned bank. Mm. So it, it can, we are not far apart, mm. but there was this uh, irritating issue that made us disagree on, and that issue has been resolved. And that cannot be, therefore, me and Mani cannot at some point meet like two streams that are going to meet uh, uh, at one river and that mm -hmm. river is economic uh, uh, transformation of our country. On that point, we have always agreed. What, what, what another person... And, and I'm happy mm. uh, with Mani uh, mm. uh, uh, joining the EFF. Most mm. of you are not observant. Mm. When we marched with these groups of uh, political parties and all of that, I've always made sure Mani is the MC in those events. Mm. Uh, even when the fighters uh, brought huge numbers, I've always said, let this guy chair. Because I always knew he's very good at articulation. He makes a, a, you know, a very good appeal to a certain constituency. But he's a very knowledgeable person. You, mm. Some of you, Jimmy, I mean, Mzwanya is going to fight <laughs> with me. Uh, 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 he's a very knowledgeable guy if you give him time and listen to him. He worked for the state as a, as a head of a, a GCIS. A, that position requires a knowledgeable person, mm. especially when it comes to matters of government. And, and, and he's very good at that. And you can't find such a, a quality and want to waste it uh, on a, a sitting at Winnie Mandela House. Let him go to parliament. Let him go and face his peers. Let him expose them. Yeah. Because uh, many of those people are not even closer to what uh, Mani is. So I, I could not waste time uh, and, and waste uh, such a resource. Uh, it's, a, it's a resource that is going to be beneficial to the EFF. And let it be placed at a center where it will be a very meaningful and impactful. Some of us, parliament is not our thing. We are the ground people. We want to engage with the ground and mass mobilization and agitation and all of that. Jimmy um, Zwane <laughs> uh, Mani is uh, the kind that can pay a particular uh, attention to detail mm. on matters of the state. And that's why we took him back. Uh, I mean, we took him to Panama. Another uh, man who was on the other side 
um, over this irritation that we mm. were talking about is uh, is Makashul. Yeah. He is now um, uh, expelled from the ANC um, like you were back in um, in 2012. Um, will, will the FF accept him if he was to come and say he wants to join the FF? Uh, I'm talking to him. Oh, is it? Yes, we're, we're talking and uh, we're at an advanced stage of discussions. So, so... Um, mm. um, 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 uh, electoral politics are politics of numbers. Mm. Yeah, very important that you talk to everyone. Mm. Uh, so I'm talking to the men. And mm. when I'm, I'm talking to the men, I'm saying the EFF is in an advanced engagement uh, with Ace Mahashu. So w what are the conditions of him coming? No, 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 no. Leave it to me and him. We will announce when, uh, when uh, those discussions are over. I'm talking to a lot of very senior people. Mm. Very. Uh, uh, Do you mind uh, sharing other names? No, I, sh I, I couldn't. I can't. Uh, I have to first conclude the discussions. Mm. Uh, we're likely to shock a lot of people at the FNB Stadium with the kind and, and caliber of people who will be in attendance there, uh, at that rally of the EFF. So will you unveil senior leaders who are joining the EFF? Uh, absolutely. We don't unveil. Mm. We don't. People in the EFF join their branches mm. and um, they announce themselves as members. We don't. We don't do press conferences. No, there is no special member of anything of that sort. You join, you belong to a branch. Mm. If there is a skill you have, we'll use that skill. We don't have a, a cadre deployment policy in the EFF. We assess people as they come and we utilize them where they can best contribute to both the growth of the organization and government. These are the people who were on the other side of the fence, um, especially when you were fighting former President Jacob Zuma when the EFF they were with him. Was, was, they were not yes, with yes. The EFF was agitating for him to be removed and was yeah. was uh, removed. And now these are the people that you are embracing. Um, is it part of the ANC strategy, the EFF strategy, to see a gap within the ANC um, that there are these divisions and then you you take full advantage? I don't know where. Uh, the differences are permanent. I, I, I really try, I'm trying to think which sphere of life do we have a permanent disagreement? Mm. There are no permanent enemies mm. in politics. Um, um, uh, I we had fundamental disagreements with President Zuma mm. on how he ran the state, on how, and I raised this in the ANC. The problem is that. The South African media, you don't keep archives. I, in the 2011 rally of the ANC, January 8, in Rustenburg, I took a platform there and I said, we have not elected a corrupt family to run South Africa, Mr. President. Mm. If you want to run this country, you don't want to run this country, please mm. tell us. Yes. We'll choose another leadership. Mm. I raised these matters with President Zuma, fundamentally disagreed with him, internally in the ANC. Yes. Um, to a point where I under Lodlo, when the next Monday, went to the NWC of the ANC and said I must be suspended mm. for having expressed a view. Yes. And the meeting disagreed with him. So I disagreed with him and uh, I got expelled. He eventually got removed as the president of South Africa. What, what else do I want from the guy? Mm. It's done. I must move to the next chapter of the revolution. Uh, and therefore, uh, why is Mandela not being called a flip-flopper after the National Party uh, took him to jail? After the National Party killed so many people? After the cleric presided over Buipato massacre? Mandela made the cleric deputy president mm. of this country. Tactical moves in order to arrive at a strategic objective. Mandela, because what he was doing was fitting the narrative of the white establishment. He was not called what I'm being called today. Mandela never had permanent disagreements, uh, even with the apartheid that killed people. Killed, literally arrested him and other comrades. Killed Krisani. When Chris was killed, the clerk was the president. Mandela went to make the clerk his deputy uh, president of South Africa. I must treat Zuma different from how Mandela treated the enemy. Zuma has never been my enemy. We disagreed. 
and we did not pretend in that disagreement. We did so openly. And matters have been resolved. We need to move on now. Is he one of the people you're talking to? Zuma? No, 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 no. Like I said I can't tell you names. <laughs> but don't, don't, don't rule him out. I can't tell you names. <laughs> In, in the, the NHI has um, was passed by Parliament. Yes. Um, I I know that uh, it does not um, really meet fully mm. the the seven uh, cardinal pillars of the EFF. But the EFF um, uh, supports the NHI. Yes. Where is the money going to come from to fund the NHI? Well, the money is there. Remember, we <coughs> found the money in less than no time during COVID. Mm. Uh, and therefore, where there is a political will, uh, there will always be a political way uh, to resolve that matter. Mm. My biggest concern with the NHI is that you have, you have to go to the health facility that is close to you uh, in order to be a beneficiary of such a, a, a policy. And we know that most of our people have got no such health facilities next to them. And if mm. they are, they are not in a very... A better uh, condition. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's a, there is a political will. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 we, we've passed the first leg. It may not be as perfect as we would want to expect it to be, but once we pass the first leg, we will find the money within the state mm -hmm. to finance uh, uh, this important policy that will address, in the main, uh, the primary health care, mm -hmm. which is what we are concerned about as the EFF. Yeah. Another issue that is in the news right now mm. uh, is the issue of the BRIC summit. Yes. Um, you've, in your previous interviews, you've said that uh, Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, must be allowed to come to, to the country and he must not be arrested. Mm. Um, ever since then, there's, there's been a um, <clears throat> reaction, um, uh, especially in the U.S., uh, with the threat of, um, of Agoa and uh, calls from the... Uh, lawmakers, some of the lawmakers there to say maybe the summit, the Aqua summit must not happen here in this country and they are saying we are, we are on the verge of, 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 of being kicked out of Aqua, which will have uh, serious consequences um, and, and result in job losses. Um, do you still hold the view that we can risk such a diplomatic fallout with the US or over Putin? My brother, for any political decision there will be consequences. And we ought to be uh, prepared for such political consequences. If we allow the U.S. to dictate to us now mm. on who can become our friend and who can become our friend, and who can visit South Africa and who can visit South Africa, mm. then we must uh, uh, forego our sovereignty. Mm. Uh, because then we should cease to be a so-called independent state and always ask the the big brother whether we should allow this or not mm. so and that's where i come from uh, president putin must come here we'll f he will find us at the airport we'll receive him uh, i've seen that uh, the minister patel has left the country to go and explain south africa's position in order to save our core um, 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 it, it's always good to do business with the people who have money uh, and uh, uh, with america and all of that but that shouldn't take away our souls and our political independence. In the absence of Agoa, if they were to say they are excluding us from Agoa, we ought to find alternative markets. Uh, 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 Russia uh, is one of such markets that will be readily available to trade with us, but China in particular. And China, look at what it has done recently, stopped taking a millimil from the US mm. and said, I'm going to take directly uh, uh, from South Africa. Mm. So we should always have plan B uh, and say if the Americans are going to come in a way we are coming, they are coming, what is going to be alternative? South Africa cannot, even under the such threats of our goal, and uh, not be thinking of what are the possible and alternative markets that can provide uh, what uh, we're benefiting from uh, our goal. So we shouldn't uh, be imprisoned uh, by America on the base of Agoa and be unable to uh, 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 take a particular stand. And what is the stance we took? The stand we took as South Africa is um, 
we are not involved, we are not taking side, we are neutral, and therefore we seek peace, and we need to resolve this matter. And the EFF says, that, state, that stand is not even enough. We should be with Russia openly, we should supply Russia with uh, armaments if we have, and all of that. South Africa still insists on being neutral. You get punished even for being neutral. Uh, and, and, and we want to regret our position. South Africa didn't do anything. We want worse than what South Africa has done. Because whether you do it or you don't do it, they are coming for you. They are coming to punish you. Do you think our relationship with Russia is more valuable than the relationship with the US? It is. Because Russia doesn't interfere in our political sovereignty. It doesn't interfere in our internal political dynamics. It does not put uh, any uh, army base uh, facing our direction, threatening the sovereignty of the whole region. So why would we want to value a relationship of imperialism over a revolutionary relationship we'll have with Russia? The man who is currently acting president right now, um, Paul Mashatil, I know you've spoken about um, Cyril Ramaphosa yeah. and how he won't work with him. Will you work with an ANC that is headed by Paul Mashadine? Absolutely. He's a, he's a good brother. Um, uh, the, the good thing with Paul and what gives me comfort with him is that uh, Stellenbosch doesn't like him. Um, um, Paul, if he was to be honest, and he, you must put it there in one of your notes and, and ask him one day when you interview him, if he's honest, he will have to tell you uh, that... He went to ask that lady of the open I must have forgotten her name, is the one who gives TA money and the, and these other people of the action essay. He went to ask for the ANC money from that lady. And she said, No, 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 I can't give the ANC money. I don't like the ANC. I like Cyril. And my liking of Cyril should never be confused to be meaning I like the ANC. Mm. So even when the ANC was deep in crisis and in trouble and Paul tried to reach out to the establishment, they rejected him. And the, the establishment, in its comfort, uh, is able to speak openly that they don't trust the men. Uh, and therefore, uh, um, anything that unsettled uh, the establishment is worth taking a risk. Uh, politics is a risk. And, and, and you can't be scared to take risk because that will not make you a politician. So... Will that be the one of the demands to say? No, no, we can't demand that put so and so as a president. <laughs> we can't of the ANC. We can't. Uh, uh, we will demand that we can't work with this one, and we'll put our reasons. Mm. And um, if they if they they insist, they must count us out. Mm. If uh, um, uh, uh, they say okay, we hear you, uh, we'll come up with a different uh, candidate. Mm. Will listen to them. Is Cyril the only candidate you want to in the ANC? Well, there are many others. I mean, why would I work with Pravi? <laughs> there are sort of uh, many others. Uh, they, they are just a, a lot more people that mm. are captured by the Oppenheimers mm. and, and, and the Rupens. Uh, and uh, those people cease to think and uh, put our th interest aside when it comes to saving the interest uh, mm. of those guys. So yeah. there are certain people I would not even try uh, 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 to work with. How different are you from an ANC politician? If a voter was to say, now I'm making a decision, I don't want to vote for the ANC because of uh, allegations of corruption yeah. and, and maybe someone believes what you are saying, that yeah. they are captured by the open mm -hmm. hands. But how different are you from the leaders of the ANC? You yourself, you have had allegations of corruption against you um, uh, that were did not proceed in court. Um, you've had allegations against you on VBS and, 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 and things like that. So how, how different are you from an, an, an ANC politician? Why should the public trust you? I'm not uh, in the pocket of uh, the white establishment. Mm -hmm. Formed a political party without white money, without more white influence. Um, a completely independent politician who is not being controlled and captured by anyone a corrupt free politician who has got no allegations of corruption against him, including the ones you are talking about. I get arrested uh, for corruption because someone wants to settle a political score with me and say, you got a tender in government. You were there, sure, but you wrote many other things about me at the time. But you never asked the question, 
in government, who did he corrupt? Who gave who did he who gave him a tender? And on which condition? That maybe Julius threatened this person, I'll fire you, I'll promote you, uh, or uh, 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 I'll give you some money. But there must be someone in government that this guy corrupted. Why was that person not charged alongside me? I've never worked for government. Not once. Uh, and then I'm, I don't even know how the systems of government work when it comes to tenders. I heard, and it's you who should be going to clear my name because the cause has failed to take uh, that uh, uh, court file and go wit witness after, after witness statements. You don't have to talk to them. All adjudication committee, tender committee, this and that. When I got the file, it was so interesting because I went one by one, the statement. All those people without exception said, they were asked a question, do you know Julius Maloma? They said, yes. How do you know him on TV? Okay, in relation to this tender, we only saw on TV that he was involved with this company. No boss of ours told us, no one told us. He never came to talk to us. Because I disagree with you, you say, you charge me with corruption. And the court says, but you're not ready for trial. He has been coming here. You guys, every time he comes here, you say you're not ready for trial. That time I'm fighting the president of the country. The charges get dropped. The president of the country gets removed. The new president comes in. I'm fighting that president. Till today, they have the power to reinstate the charges. Why are they not reinstating them, Shop? Why do you speak like I've got the power to reinstate the charges? I'm here. I'm a, I'm a civilian uh, in opposition. They've got all the reasons to come for me. I said Cyril is corrupt. He puts money.